Good morning, folks. We finally get to say goodbye to the mega filament. A crest observed yesterday is now well underway, and he is on his way to the far side of our star. Despite the departure of one grand plasma rope, we have the entrance of another, northeastern limb presenting plasma standing tall and cresting into Earth's view as we speak. That's a small moon's worth of material spread out over an area the size of Jupiter. Let's get right to it. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day on our star was, to all of your shock and amazement, very quiet. We are at a level of solar flaring down in the doldrums seen in 2008 and 2009. GOES-15 isn't even cracking into B-class flare range, and that is about as calm as it gets. We don't expect any solar flares because the lone spot up here isn't doing much and is indeed all by himself. Magnetism shows stability with a penumbral negative magnetism. Solar wind shows speed dropping out in yellow, while density rises a bit in orange. That's the bunch up of particles between coronal sectors and that means the geomagnetic activity of the non-CME variety is on deck. Thus far, Earth's magnetic shield is holding up very nicely. Of course, you will remember that these are the negative southern fields extending up transequatorially. Multiple coronal holes on the disk here, and you'll remember the uptick served up magnitude 6 quake in Japan already, plus a number of volcanic eruptions. And now yesterday, we saw the seismicity settling in with twin six-pointers in Alaska and Papua New Guinea across the waters from each other. Top news today includes a new closer look at the protoplanetary disk. Inner system exclusion is astounding to this observer, and one strains to see gravity in the suspect lineup. Next article details a large study putting forth an argument for mandatory labeling of GMOs. Those who like this news, rock on, and for those who are getting the urge to email me about this, hear our take on GMO microbiology first, or you'll be spinning your wheels. We've got the April Planetary Geometry Lookout last night, number 28, and of course it is Saturday, so Fly on the Wall is on deck and your new podcast will post in a few hours' time, suspiciousobservers.org. Folks, that convergence line down south did not disappoint. Tornadoes, flooding, storms. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, some current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. back on the east coast of the United States. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.